Gottschalk's was a middle-tier American department store that operated 58 department stores and three specialty apparel stores in six western states from 1904 to 2009. Welcome to Eric C. Productions. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified of my latest video that are posted during the week. Please leave a suggestion or a comment and maybe you might see that video in a future posting. Thanks for watching and now back to the program. It happens only once a year. Extra savings during Big G Days at Gutshots. Save 30% on two-piece soft dressing from Corret for Mrs. Empathies. For the casual man, Shaver Lake shirts and pants, 25 to 30% off. Assorted comforter set, any size, $49.99. And in Meals Market, this bonus 13-piece cutlery set. With purchase of the select 10-piece cookware set by Cook's Bazaar at just $89.99. Once a year savings now during Gutshots Big G Days. Gottschalk's was founded by a German-Jewish immigrant named Emil Gottschalk in 1904 as a dry goods store in downtown Fresno, California. Gottschalk's was the only department store in the Central Valley. Crowds of people lined up on opening day in 1904. Ten years later, the store grew enough to move into another building downtown with ten times the amount of space. The company opened its first branch store in Merced in 1961 and new stores in Visalia and Fresno. In a strategy to win over teenage baby boomers, Gottschalk's launched Bobby West, a chain of junior apparel stores in the late 1960s. Village East Shops, which offered plus-size women's clothing, were launched in 1970. Gottschalk's gained success by locating only in smaller cities that could not support full-size national department stores. This tactic kept Gottschalk's overhead low by allowing it to build smaller single-level stores with lower real, real estate costs. More often than not, it may also made Gottschalk's the only game in town with virtually no competition from other national department stores. In 1976, Gottschalk's became America's first department store to totally automate sales transactions. The company installed electronic point-of-sale wands that read barcodes and store credit cards. This technology helped increase efficiency, reduce errors, and keep inventory and customer billing up to date. The number of Gottschalk's units doubled and annual revenues increased from $112 million to $196 million in the process. In 1987, they acquired Brock's two stores and 500 employees, and in 1988, the acquisition of Samuel Leesk and Sons chains added three stores and 150 employees. The company's stock started trading on the New York Stock Exchange in 1986. In 1995, the company went online. The company grew in Southern California with the 1998 acquisition of Harris Department Stores, which operated as Harris Gottschalk Stores by then. In 2000, the Seattle-based department store Lamont's was acquired. Most of Lamont's locations that were acquired by Gottschalk's eventually closed due to poor sales. On October 24, 2008, Gottschalk's was delisted from the New York Stock Exchange. Officials stated that the value of the stock was too low to continue to be listed and that its average global market capitalization had remained below $25 million for 30 straight trading days. Company officials claimed to be negotiating a deal for a loan with a Chinese company called Everbright Development Overseas Limited. They also stated that they could appeal the delisting decision. On December 18, 2008, Gottschalk's officials announced that Everbright had pulled out of the deal. On January 14, 2009, Gottschalk's filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. In March 2009, Gottschalk's announced it lined up a group of bidders that would liquidate the chain if no other bidder was found by March 30th. On March 31st, 
2009. And now, Project Economy coverage and a major retailer, Gotchalks, is the latest casualty of the sagging economy, going out of business and taking local jobs and sales tax dollars with it. The day the news came, came down that Gotchalks will be liquidated, the company filed for bankruptcy in January, and a group of liquidators bought it at auction. Santa Cruz County has two Gottschalk stores, one at the Capitola Mall, the other in Watsonville. Shoppers heading into Gottschalk stores in Capitola and in downtown Watsonville heard the news of the department store's liquidation. It's the last big department store that, it's the, one of the first ones that Santa Cruz had, and it's an important one. It's a good place for us to shop. My father's been shopping here as long as it's, he's 87, and... Watsonville has seen its fair share of stores closing shop. Gotchucks has been the anchor for downtown business the past 14 years. They'll be gone by July. After a closed door auction in bankruptcy court in Delaware, Gotchucks liquidation will be handled by the same group that did Mervyn's in Circuit City. For many consumers, the question is who's next? The chain's final stores closed July 12th in 2009. Several prime locations became Macy's or Forever 21. There are plans by former CEO Joe Levy to reopen some of the stores by early 2000, but those plans ultimately fell through. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.